On this National Coffee Day, a Madison roaster is at the center of developments that will make the industry safer. Just Coffee is a successful Wisconsin-grown company that now does business from coast to coast. It falls into the category of specialty coffees, the fastest-growing segment of that business. And new tonight at 6, Dave Delosier joins us from the newsroom with something you don't always hear about, a company that went out of its way to do the right thing, Dave. Yeah, Eric, absolutely. You know, there's an old saying that don't ask a question unless you really want to know the answer. Well, when scientists raised concerns about respiratory issues and coffee roasters, Just Coffee didn't just ask the question. They made certain they got the answer. <laughs> when we first started, I was the only employee. That was 15 years ago when Matt Early met coffee farmers in Chiapas, Mexico, who were only getting 25 cents for a pound of coffee. Early decided instead to pay them a fair price. When you know somebody and you see they're struggling and you have an opportunity to impact that, then, you know, you want to do the right thing. Just Coffee turned fair trade into a thriving business that now sells coast to coast. They've also gone from one employee to 35. To do the right thing by them, when scientists raised questions about respiratory issues associated with coffee roasting, Early wanted to know if they were right. So when we found that out, we were the first roaster of our size in the country to contact the CDC NIOSH team and invite them in because we wanted to know. What the CDC found is that in the roasting process, three compounds are released into the air that are believed to cause respiratory illnesses. To mitigate that, the CDC offered recommendations. Um, their recommendations mainly center on moving air and trying to either dissipate or get the compound out of the building as quickly as possible. They will spend upwards of $20,000 to make things safer for the employees here. But instead of focusing on that cost, they see the cost of their employees if they don't. There are really good mitigation strategies that we can use, and the more knowledge we have about this, that's power, because then we're not guessing and our workforce isn't guessing, and it's, it's our obligation to provide our workers with a safe environment to work in. Now the findings are also getting the attention of others in the coffee roasting industry. Matt Early says he's heard from a number of roasters who understand this must be addressed. And the CDC is also continuing their study of the issue, doing research in 18 other coffee facilities around the country. All right, Dave Delosier in our news center. Dave, thank you.